Hello YouTube, um, Sketchy Reporter here, with another Back From The Movies vlog. The words I'm about to say are not so much a review, but a confession. Um, a couple days ago, I went to go see the movie called Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. And what is that movie you may ask? Well, it's an art film. Why haven't you heard of it? Well, because you never watched it. I didn't even know it existed until a couple days ago. A friend of mine was like, we need to go see this movie, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. So I looked up a trailer online, and it kind of looked like a action-packed British Sherlock Holmes, medit like Sherlock Holmes action thriller. Uh, starring starring um, Gary Oldman, one of my favorite actors of all time. So I was actually pretty hyped. So, here, here comes the confession part. I'm not talented enough to review a movie like this. It's along the lines of, you could argue it's very similar to Pulp Fiction, Trick or Treat, but <sighs> it's just one of those movies that is told in a way that makes the audience think. And that's not, for, that's not for everybody. I'm not saying I'm more intelligent than everybody else because I got it. I kind of got it. But it really is one of those movies you have to, you have to pay attention to every last detail. Every second matters. And it makes it, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm gonna bash an art film here for a second. This is, in order to make a film like this work, um, I, I, I say it's like Pulp Fiction and Trick or Treat because it's one movie split up very awkwardly. It's telling one story by telling three other stories. And in the end, they all intertwine to make one story. And it really makes the audience think. And that can be done fine. It can be done brilliantly. Pulp Fiction did it really well. Recently, I watched Trick or Treat. It did it brilliantly. And... If I was going to do one thing to fix this film, it would be the editing. It, it, it told a really good story, but I don't think it really knew how to tell it. And from my understanding, this is based off of a novel. I've never read the novel, so I don't know how it compares, but the novel is not really important in this discussion. But I, I also hear it's a remake of another movie, and that I would love to see, because this is like a movie that would have been done really well had it been earlier. This day and age, movies are advanced into a way that you really have to... How do I say this without sounding like a jerk? Movies nowadays are... you. The audience's attention span has really dwindled over the years. We've, we've been blessed with um, action movies that are through and through, beginning to end, and Movies have really changed since the 60s and 70s, where they were playing this kind of stuff all the time. Um, really more complicated, complex stories. And I'm glad, I'm glad that um, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy was able to go back and try and um, redo this kind of a dead art. And I, I'm glad it took that step. At the same time, it just feels really out of place with this day and age. See, now now I sound like a complete, <laughs> um, like, I don't even know. I'm always saying that movies need to take that step. Movies need to take risks. Movies need to step out of the box. And I applaud that movie for doing so. It just... You can do that by telling a good story in order. It... It's just one of those, thing, those films that you watch, and something happens, someone might die, and then two frames later, they're back. They're alive, and you get really thrown up, and it's actually kind of... Del it really makes you kind of dizzy after a while. And I'm not saying this is a bad film. I'm not saying that at all. I actually enjoyed it, for the most part. Uh, it was really one of those things I just kind of sat there at the end of the movie, just there, like. 
I pieced it together more or less, but I still couldn't tell you the complete story beginning to end. If you were to tell me, if you were to ask me, what was the point of the movie? What exactly happened and why did it happen? I couldn't do it. And that's a problem. Um, there's people out there that are complete movie, like, logicalists. They do this all the time. And I wish I could do that now. But, no. Um, I'm not talented enough to review a movie like this. But, do I recommend it? Not really. Um, and I really hate doing that to a Gary Oldman film. I really hate doing that. But, this movie is just... I, I, I want differences in movies. I want change. I want risk. But this movie just really stepped out of line, I think. And, okay. And at the theater I was at, it was a complete um, college theater. Uh, it was, like, there was, there was a couple hundred people in the theater, probably. I mean, maybe not that many. Maybe about 150. And... Over half of them left in the middle. So, I'm not really sure what that says. Again, it's not a bad movie. It's just really going to be misunderstood in the box office. Which, which is really odd, too. Because it's gotten so many awards. So many awards as this new art film. Now, I can, I can talk for hours about why it's getting these awards. Um, movie award nominee people, the people that give out the awards, <laughs> they are so close-minded it drives me insane. I could rant for hours, I'm not going to, but if they don't understand a movie, it's brilliant. If, if the movie makes them really, really think, and they themselves are not really sure what is going on, I, I don't understand what's going on in this movie. I just don't get the whole point. This must be the best movie ever made. Give it awards. No, you can't do that. For In my opinion, for a movie to get awards, it needs to tell a story. It needs to open up doors. It needs to show emotion, not leaving the audience going... No, that does not win awards. Story wins awards. Um... So that's why I don't recommend the movie. You, if you want to watch an art film that really, really makes you think, really makes you want to piece together this puzzle before the character of Gary Oldman does, by all means, go watch it. I'm not going to stop you. It's just... I'm not ready for it. And I know a lot of people that watch my, my videos and watch the kind of movies that I like are not ready for this. So... I guess that's it. Tinker, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I, I can't give it a grade. Um, I usually give a number scale, which I need to actually stop. Uh, I've been giving eights to a lot of things. People are like, so is it your saying this movie is just as good as this movie? No, no. I, need to, I might need to stop doing the number system. But I, I really can't. Um, just because this movie is just not made for me. It's made for a certain audience. And... With that said, I don't feel like I can give the movie a fair grade. So, uh, I guess that's all I have for this movie. But, um, yeah, I, 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 think that's all, I think that's all I got. Tinker Taylor, Soldier Spy. It's an art film!